welcome to church. church. <laughs> Okay, dizzy now. And um, welcome to the next in our series of Adventures with Jesus. We are on top of the highest hill in Nottingham because our story today includes a really, really, really high hill. It's not very high up here, but the one that Jesus was up was really high. We're going to have our usual song and story and activity. And for our activity today, you are going to need some paper, some pens and a torch. That's all you need. And the ability to write backwards. Yeah, that will be helpful, but not essential. We're going to go into our first song, which is... Shine! Shine from the inside out That the world will see you live in me Shine from the inside out That the world will see You live in me You know me And you love me You feel me So send me to shine From the inside out That the world will see You live in me Shine From the inside out That the world will see you live in me Shine From the inside out That the world will see You live in me Shine From the inside out That the world will see You live in me Know me, love me, feel me, send me Send me Oh, no, you love me, feel me, send me To shine From the inside out That the world will see You live in me Shine From the inside out That the world will see You live in me You know me So there's this mountain right at the north of Israel and it's the highest mountain in all of Israel and its name is Mount Hermon. It is so high on this mountain that even in a really, really, really hot place like Israel, there's snow on top of it. That's how high it is. So it gets really, really, really cold up at the top because it is so high. And it's on this mountain that Jesus goes up with three of his closest friends, Peter, James and John. Now, I don't know what their reason was for going up the mountain, but I can imagine that Peter, James and John had no idea what they were going to see. Because when they were at the top of this mountain, Jesus changed. His face started glowing. His clothes were white. It's not the kind of mountain experience I have when I climb a mountain. Usually when you climb up a mountain, you're going up to look down at the view. But when they climbed up the mountain, they found that Jesus was the real view. You see, like all these last few weeks, we've been looking at these amazing things that Jesus has been doing. He was teaching people things that they'd never heard before. He was doing miracles like feeding 5,000 people and walking on water. But now is the time when the disciples would start to realize that Jesus is even more amazing than they thought before. This is like next level. And suddenly it wasn't just Peter, James and John and Jesus that were on the mountain. Who else was there? Well, suddenly Moses and Elijah appeared. But, 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 yeah. but they, they've been dead. Yeah, for thousands of years. These people who we read about in the Old Testament, their lives happened thousands and thousands and thousands of years ago suddenly appeared on the mountain beside them. What? Amazing. 
And the thing that connects these two people is that both Moses and Elijah went up a mountain and met with God. They talked with God. Wow. Can you read about that in the Bible? Yes, you can. Amazing. You should definitely do that. But they, <laughs> they talked with God. Like they heard God's voice, God's actual voice speaking to them on top of a mountain. And now here they are on top of a mountain talking to Jesus. Jesus. Peter's so excited by this. And he's like, I think I get it. This, this whole kingdom that, that Jesus has been talking about, this must be where it's going to start. This is yeah. the place. Yeah. Because here we're seeing something amazing happening, something we've never seen before. Let's build a tent. I've got a tent here. Let's build a tent. Let's put a tent up. He probably thought that because in the Old Testament, after Moses has met with God on the mountain, he comes down with instructions for how to make a tent. Uh, and so he was thinking, this is going to be the new place where God is, is present, where God lives, where God is with us. But Ruth, Ruth. Yeah? That's not the plan. Peter got it wrong. Sorry, I should have said that to you earlier. It's all right. Because while he's still suggesting that, Oh, let's build a tent for you and Moses and we could build three tents, one for you and Moses and Elijah. He's generous, this Peter chap. Yeah. While he's still saying that, a cloud covers them and a voice speaks. Now the cloud, for Moses, the cloud was really important, wasn't it? That was God. Yeah. And for Elijah, God spoke in the quiet. So yeah. the cloud kind of peaceful and quiet is really important. Yeah. And it's a bright cloud as well. Oh. It's like clouds are usually dark, but this is a cloud of brightness. Cool. In the cloud, they hear a voice. Ooh. A loud it. voice or a quiet voice? Doesn't say. Okay. And the voice says, this is my son whom I love. With him, I am so pleased. Wow. So God's voice yeah. speaking about Jesus. It's like, this, it's exactly what they were thinking about. They'd been thinking, Mountain, Moses, Elijah, God speaking, and then it happens to them. Whoa! God speaks, and he says the same thing as what he says to Jesus at his baptism. This is my son, who I love. I'm so pleased with him. And then he says, listen to him. That's really cool because they've been listening to him for all of this time, but maybe they hadn't quite figured that Jesus was God. So when God is saying, this is my son, listen to him, it's like he's saying, he's speaking my words. He's not just speaking his own people words, he's speaking God words as well. That's what Peter hadn't understood. He thought, this is the place where God is going to be, where God's presence will dwell. But God was saying, no, my presence is Jesus. I'm walking with you. Jesus is God with us, alongside us, every step of the way. And Peter, James and John's response to this was they were terrified and in complete awe of this voice from heaven. So they fell down onto the ground, face down. They covered their faces because they couldn't see God. They couldn't hear God. They, their minds were just blown at how awesome and incredible this thing was. But Jesus came and touched them, put out his hand. And then he said to them, can you guess what he said? Get up. Yeah. Can you guess what else he said? Do not be afraid. Yeah. Classic Jesus. He gets up, he goes over and he touches them and he says, get up, do not be afraid. God comes to them, touches them and says, don't be afraid. It's an amazing way that God wants to relate to us and be with us. And the amazing thing for us today is that God is still with us by his spirit, that we do walk with Jesus every day of our lives. And then after Jesus has said this, the disciples look up and there's only Jesus there. Moses and Elijah have gone. Just Jesus, God, his presence. They now understand this a little bit better. I wonder how they felt talking to Jesus after that whether they had loads more questions for him after that realization that this is God. His presence is here with us all the time. 
we're going to do a craft now to help us to remember about the story that we heard earlier. Jesus going up the mountain, being transfigured to looking like he was glowing um, and Moses and Elijah with him. That moment that the disciples realised that this man that they'd been seeing for a while wasn't just a man, but was God. So our craft is we're going to make um, a little standing up person who is going to glow. Um, this might sound complicated, but it's really, really not. So you want to take a piece of paper and you want to draw um, onto it the shape of a person. So it's going to look something like this. Now, it doesn't look much like a person at all yet, um, but I promise you it will do. So cut that out and it will end up looking like this. Here's one I prepared earlier. Um, and then what I want you to do is um, write on it backwards, Jesus is God. Because that was the thing that the disciples realised at that moment. This wasn't just Jesus a person, this was Jesus who was God. So um, I don't know how your backwards writing is. Uh, I used to love doing this when I was a kid. So let's see if I can still remember how to do it. Jesus is God. It's a bit rough. That's what it looks like backwards. Or maybe that's what it looks like forwards. I don't know whether the camera reverses these things. So Jesus is God. Um, and then you might want to draw some of the miracles that God, uh, that Jesus has been doing for the last few weeks. So you could draw on some bread and fish and people sitting around eating. Um, and then you could draw, um, I'm going to draw Jesus walking on the water with Peter and a boat. You can obviously take much more time over this if you want to. And then I'm going to do Jesus healing someone and making them smile. So uh, there we go. Just some really rough little pictures. And then what we're going to do is you're going to snip uh, about that far from that end. And um, just a straight up little cut like that. And then at this end, you're going to do one down. Yes, you are. You're going to do one down so that it meets about the same place. And then when you twist these around, you're going to join up like that and make a little standing up character. So you could leave it like that if you wanted to, standing there. Um, or if you want to cut in from the side, uh, maybe above your words. Ooh, sounds fancy little thing. Uh, to give them some arms and then you could even snip up from the bottom. And give them some legs as well. And there you have a little standing up person. So Jesus was glowing. He was showing that he wasn't just a person. He was God. And so um, to help show that, we're going to use a torch. And it's not going to work very well because the sun's shining pretty brightly in here. So the torch is going to need to be very bright. But I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. Let's try it from the bottom. Can you see how... You can now see that the words, maybe you can see them, Jesus is God. And so you can see from the inside, shining out that Jesus is God. You can see all of these things that Jesus has done. And our song earlier talked about shining. It said shine from the inside out so the world will see you live in me. Like Jesus was shining and showing that he was God. When we do the things that Jesus wants us to, when we act like him, we shine and people can see God because of how we act. We're going to pray to finish now. God, thank you that Jesus is so amazing, uh, even more amazing than the disciples had first thought. And thank you that he is with us that you walk alongside us, that you are with us by your Holy Spirit. And so as we go through our adventures of life, um, thank you that you go with us. Help us to remember that. Amen. Amen. We hope you've had a good week um, and we will see you next week for some more adventures. Happy adventuring. Bye.